Hello, my name is Florian Rosmark and you're about to watch my first carp fishing vlog. Before I moved to the US, I used to fish for carp in Germany. I just recently started to fish again, mainly due to my kids asking me enough. And I rediscovered my passion for carp fishing. In my videos, you will see me learning to fish the American way and hopefully catch some fish. As for the lake we are today, I knew before I did go here that I will not see any big fish. And neither will you. I catch some fish because that lake always produces and helps me just to hone my skills and getting back into the game. Over time I for sure will go to different lakes around here. I know some waters that have really good fish, but I also want to teach my kids and this will take time and I rest started with smaller fish. For now I hope you will enjoy my vlog and excuse me if I'm not that good now yet. I hope I get better over time.
yeah, my second fish, in total our third fish. We're here about an hour. Not a big one in this case, not at all, but even small for here actually. <laughs> but yeah, fish. That one can go back, swim, after a quick check, and then um, see you in a bit. Yeah, short status. It's almost now, let me check. It's 9.51 a.m. Been here since 6.50. That's when I unloaded a car. Got my permit in California. Most of the lakes you need to get a, a permit, a day permit. And this case is around like five bucks, but can now go up to like eight and even more depending on where you go this uh, specific lake is not stocked so they always keep it like it is and whatever's in the lake it's in the lake it relies on spawning and today so far we catched four fish so I started I've been in that spot uh, around 715 started assembling the rod pot, the rods, getting them out, 
lucky me, I already know the area, didn't have to find my spots. About um, 30 yards out there. Is it yard? Yeah. Um, in Truman, about, uh, or in, in, in meters, it would be 30 meters round about, maybe 40. Um, there's actually kind of a drop there, so it goes slowly down here. It's it's from a hill like the foot, so it's going down in here. And there's a drop at around like 30, 40 meters at the current water level. I know that from about two weeks ago. Um, haven't been here before like eight weeks in between, so the water dropped a little bit. And I had to find my spots again. So that drop is where a lot of the fish are. The, right before that or around that spot, there's also some wheat growing there. Um, the rest of the area is pretty clean. Also the ground is pretty rocky, like what you see here. Rocks like that, bigger ones, smaller ones, they're all over the place. Um, they're also in the water of course, where I sit right now, about two months ago there would have been water. Um, what I was told by the locals, the water will drop even more. They filled it up about in around the February, March from another reservoir. Um, and they filled it up about 15 feet, what I was told. Uh, water is, all, of course, already dropping, so it's probably five, six, maybe even seven feet lower than I, when I started back then. I just casted out my rods again. And I always just stay in the right, same spot. I, memorize the spot where I was standing and then I focus out in the horizon on some more kind of spots like could be a tree could be anything literally and I try to cast in that direction and always round about the same length I don't measure it here um, there's other swims of course where you have to use uh, your measuring sticks and then go with your wraps and measure it correctly out so you always hit the same spot. Around here it's not that important so far we catch a lot of small fish. Um, I didn't weigh any of them. None of them was over five kilo respectively 10 pounds. They are probably been close to that but it was just not worth the struggle. So far you probably saw me with two fish. The other two go on my daughter's account. If you saw that I fish with four rods. But I fish with two rods, my daughter fishes with her own two rods. If she's with me, you will see four rods. If I'm fishing alone, um, I normally just, of course, fish two rods, uh, as I only permitted to fish two rods. Um, for her, I cast them out because she cannot cast that far. Um, not yet. Still a trainee. It's a little bit too heavy with... Uh, the method feeder and all the bait on it and she always gets a little bit too short maybe like 15 yard <laughs> and that doesn't quite do it of course and my main goal is that she catches her fish as well and has her fun I tried to keep her a little bit out of the videos uh, at least for now I'm not totally comfortable with having her in um, might change later on I don't know what the time brings um, my plan is to do that for quite a while and we will see how this is going. So she catch two fish. Um, you probably saw her reeling one in. Um, sometimes I have to help if it's stuck or goes the long way or uh, swims too much through the lines. Four rods is a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I normally let her do as much as possible until she really asks for help. And it's going good so far. I have pretty good feeling that we've probably catch something bigger. Um, I'm a little bit surprised even for this lake. Um, those fish are pretty small. Um, no idea what's gonna come. So that's the current status. That specific lake here, it's actually restricted to a few days and only from like 7 in the morning to like 5 in the evening. Um, that's all you can fish over here so it's not a lot of time and I just checked the time here I already talked seven minutes it's a little bit too much I'm probably gonna cut it a little bit I don't know um, if you see it jumping don't wonder but I also try to get it all out like what I'm doing uh, 
yeah, let me know how it goes. Um, if you have comments, just leave them please in the video. Uh, I try to listen to you guys as well, what you want to see, what I should do better. But we're not done yet, so let's keep fishing. <laughs> for a while but then this I guess around 10 pound uh, fish did bite as soon as the wind came up actually so it was like quiet for a while the last two hours something like that and then the wind came back up and kind of normal over here we have a strong uh, eastbound wind so Always helps with the fish to bite. Water turns, some oxygen gets in the water, and they start to bite again. Here we go. Yeah, there we top. 11 pounds. Just like 20 minutes later of the last one. Nice looking fish. Pretty fit still. Good size and a big paddle was a good fighter. Oh, It's around 4.15 right now and we're all packed up. Nothing else to bite anymore. I had no more action. Um, I guess it's over for today, at least for what I can do. They're gonna close at 5 and I still have to go back up with the burrow that's loaded behind me up to the parking lot. Uh, it's gonna take a few more minutes to get up there, especially with that low water, so not that easy. <laughs> Um, as for the video, I can tell you one thing, and I really wanted to say that too in the end. The hardest thing for me was to get started. That intro in the beginning, I have no idea, I had probably 10 or more attempts on that. If I cut around a little bit in there, don't be surprised, it's not easy. Right now it's a little bit more easy to talk. That first step just was really the hardest thing ever for me. <laughs> At least. Um, getting started here. 
overall I have lost count a little bit of how many fish we catch it was probably around like 10 11 something like that and I try to be honest with those videos and what I'm doing also I'll try not to talk too much I probably talked way too much already today um, instead of showing a little bit of things but I have plenty of time I want to do more videos so we can go step by step for certain things if you have questions or want to see certain things just leave comments and if you like the video put a like or even subscribe if you want to see more of like that I try to get better it will take me a little bit of time but I hope you enjoy it so far at least well see you next time